Hey everybody. Hey. You're in the dark. That's okay. So what are you trying to tell me if I'm in the dark? That your car is dark. Uh, I thought you meant I was in the dark like I was not in the know on a secret. That's also true. Your birthday's coming up. There's lots of secrets I'm holding mm -hmm. on that. Anyway, you're watching the Christiana 321. I am the Christiana. I am the Christiana. This is a boyfriend, John, aka Reso Rabbit. And today we are visiting a bunch of little libraries in Green Bay. We did, well, yeah, we did this last year for little libraries in Nina, Wisconsin. Um, but he was filming and decided to exclude himself from any of the I shots. I was never invited. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're doing it together a little bit because this is his home turf. Oh, somebody parked next to us. Um, Enjoy that lady. She's now in the video. Yeah, special cameo. Um, probably a famous person. Mm -hmm. Anywho, let's go to the first little library. There's gonna be ducks. Oh, the first one? I don't know, I'll have to look at the map. There will be ducks eventually. Probably. See you there. This is the point. B-roll. Oh, there's a house down there for sale. We're on Victory Street in Green Bay. Oh, that looks so cute. I like it. A Sherlock book. Oh, a Charlotte Holmes novel. Interesting. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. So I'm guessing, generally speaking, kids' books, not kids' books. Oh, hey, look. I guess. Okay. Um, so the books that we're leaving here, you want to tell them where they came from? So all the books that we're leaving here were discarded. We're filling these with garbage. They were in an abandoned storage unit. So according to the website, this one, the last one was not on the map, this is the one that we were going to, has, uh, was spray painted, and that's how it was, it was done by a local artist. Very pretty. This one has a lot of religious books. It also has some Veggie Tales DVDs. Brings me back to my childhood. Love silly songs with Larry. Jesus. Shelves of this one are not tall enough for books. This one. This is the last one as well. I wonder if Matthew Kelly or somebody who represents him has been going around sharing this book in all the little libraries. Lots of books. And just sit here and read. I think that would fit. 
Also seems kind of painful. Yeah. This one is on Mayer and Harrison, where they meet, sort of. Bugs. What? I lied, maybe. It might be James Street. We should figure that out. Thought I saw a sign that said it was Mayer. Oh, James Street. So we're at the corner of James Street and Harrison. There's Mayer Street. Did you, are you thinking Mather? Oh, it may have been There's Mather. There's a Mather nearby. It may have been Mather yeah. Street. No, I wasn't thinking Mayer. I was thinking Mayher. And mm. A H E R. I knew a guy named Mayher. Where are we going now? I think we're going to go to the Ducks. That is a really close up shot of me. Where are we gonna go now? The ducks. Okay. So there used to be a mall downtown here and there's a clock tower inside the mall that the city of Green Bay or the mall owners or whatever bought from some town in Mississippi. The mall closed twice and it was torn down like I don't know, 10 years ago and the clock tower was bought back by that city in Mississippi and they just recently put it up in front of their courthouse. I didn't know if you were doing that because you wanted to say something. You said you like my history of Green Bay, so you're getting lots of stories. Yeah, I do. I just want to make sure that I record it so that the people know that this is what it's like driving around Green Bay with you. It's a joy. Absolutely. And I sent sarcasm in that voice. No. Um, I do really enjoy his stories and learning about you know the history of Green Bay and everything. Um, sometimes they are stories that I've heard few times before which is okay because normally I don't remember the details um, but also he just doesn't remember telling them to me at all so I, I don't mind telling you the same story multiple times um but yeah so we're just driving around trying to find the ducks I think he knows where he's going it's just a longer drive so Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, friends. Friends. Oh, jeez. I remember there being a little library here. However, we well, drove past. Looks like I might be misremembering. We'll see, we got books.
I'm gonna have so much footage of birds to go through, aren't I? Yeah, probably. But look at the birds! How awesome are they? I want all of them. This would probably be good to explain what a little library is for any of you guys who are not familiar. Uh, basically, it's little boxes that you put wherever you want one. Um, turkeys. Apparently there are turkeys, hang on. Cool. Uh, little libraries. Take a book, leave a book, wherever you want. Um, sometimes you find really cool things. A lot of the ones that we've been seeing, both up here and down in Nina, um, seem to mostly be children's books, which is fine. But not what I've seen for like, well it's dark now, uh, like the Seattle Little Libraries and Portland, basically the Pacific Northwest, seems to have some better adult readers frequenting um, little libraries. This is a little free pantry. Same kind of concept. Apparently some books get left in here. And queso dip. Ranch. Neat. That was Bay Beach Sanctuary. We've got a lot of birds. Apparently they also have some other stuff in there. Uh, John is looking up our next location. I'm a little disappointed that she went to a bird place and dropped off a cookbook with chicken on the back. There were no chickens here. Mm, maybe because you cooked them all. <gasps> I mean, maybe there's duck all little orange or whatever it is. But there's also big bird. That's bird positive. Media. Mm, big bird is still alive. Yes, exactly. Bird positive. All right, next up. So over there, where all the cars are, is the Bay Beach Amusement Park. And that's where Elvis's favorite uh, roller coaster is. Mm -hmm. It's a wooden one. The Zippin' Pippin', it was bought by the city in 2017, I think, and disassembled, I think it was in Memphis and brought here and reassembled. Neat. Number five of the series of unfortunate events. Hopefully you've already read one through four. Oh, here's number two. I should put those together. I'm gonna break it. Another one down the way, so I brought a bunch of books. Uh, hopefully that one's a little empty. more books. That's not how you want to learn about it. I'm pretty sure 
this is the one that I had that I learned from. I saw a fact online today about how uh, George Washington died before the first dinosaur fossils existed, so Do George Washington never got to find out about dinosaurs, and it's real sad. So this is Astor Park, which I think is a really cool part of Green Bay, because it's all the historic houses that were actually kept nice and aren't run down. See, sometimes after the camera stops filming, we have a conversation, and I'm like, what? That would have been great banter for the video. So, we still have a lot of books left. Yeah, a lot of books. That's not what you said before. I don't remember what I said. What did I say? This is why we should just always be filming. Yeah, we, we just need body cameras. Have a camera crew follow us throughout the day. Can't tell which one of these is the library and which one of them is the house. Oh, there's lights in there. I mean, they're off right now. Ooh. I brought a lot of books because we've got to get rid of a lot of books. But this one's so full too. Guess we're just going to have to go to several more. Oh darn. A very old mass market paperback version of Gone with the Wind. Good classic. Who threw a book on the roof? I love Andrew Clements. When I was elementary school, I read like everything that I could find by him. Frankenstein. <laughs> okay. Very much the abridged version of Frankenstein. Frankenstein is a million pages long. But then, also, Frankenstein doesn't plant petunias. <laughs> I don't remember this from the original text. this book. I keep saying that I'm going to make a video about the concept. I have not yet. There are two layers in there. Oh goodness, how am I ever going to know what's in here? I don't think this one needs any more books. Tell you his name, but I did recognize that I know. Oh dear. I'm always surprised when there's pockets. <laughs> This is the first little library that we've been to that had almost no children's books. Mm -hmm. And we gave them some children's books, which means... You are part of the problem. 
I mean, this should be a good variety, like a real library. Mm -hmm. We need more videos of birds. Don't look, YouTube. We can check out the top 10 locations in Berlin in 2019. Mm -hmm. Descent of Man. I think that's a classic that's, kind of thing. That's the Barbie movie, right? We can go to probably one more. I mean, there's enough books. If we wanted to, we could probably do a couple more. But I'm getting sleepy. What do you think? I think you just need some caffeine. Probably. Did you find the one that I was telling you about? Oh, no, I didn't look for that one. So I guess two more. Okay. That is the bay. It's not very green, but it's there. It's hard to tell from the camera here. This is tall grass. Thanks, John. I had to get out in traffic on a busy road. It's so busy. Yeah, there's so many cars are going by. Oh, here's one. There's one. <laughs> and there's the uh, bay, the lake. This looks cute, it's got a little bench. Look at all the little characters. Funny. It's like the um, the Beatrix Potter characters, I think. Alright, so we've got Gangster Squad, they've got cool cars. We've got Johnny Cash, the man in black. We've got Bears on Wheels. Is it Berenstein or Berenstain? Yes. And a couple of those. And I'll teach my dog a hundred words and a wine spout that was also in the box for some reason. I think this one's got a guest book. Yes, it does. The Thompson family was here. They biked from De Pere to Door County. Wow. Those coloring pages? I think so. 2021, are we the second people since 2021? Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you're hidden. Like, I'm just like tucked back in the woods here. It's a great location. It's super cute, but I can see why not a lot of people would know to come visit it. We passed it about four times, and John kept making some very questionable turns. You told me to turn all of the turns. Oh, you can turn here after we pass this. But eventually, <laughs> I just took one. You want to put the YouTube video on there so they can see it? <laughs> I don't know what the link will be. Well, we can put your channel name. Sure. Two N's. I have one N in my name. <gasps> Unless you count the last name. I think I have that Ruth Bader Ginsburg book. Cute. A million little pieces. Unwritten. Who's your daddy? Oh goodness, that's a podcast. I don't think that book is about the podcast though. In the shack. I knew a lot of people in college who were like obsessed with that book. Yeah. I don't think there's anything in here for me though. I accidentally put a space there. You're never gonna find it now. Oh, we gotta, oh, we gotta put a date. That's today's date. August 13th. 
hopefully you're seeing this maybe like August 20th or 21st, if that's a Sunday. Hold on. So, so this is Barbara's little library box. And it's my second favorite one of the day. What was your first favorite one? The one that looked just like the house. That was a good one. That was the best. Oh, we got pins in here. Where are the pins? The world of Beatrix Potter, Peter Rabbit. You know Peter Rabbit pin? Um, I think we can leave that for other people. Well, there's a whole bunch of them in here. Yeah, and I guess if we only get a couple visitors per year. Yeah, there's like 20 of them in there. A whole bunch of Peter Rabbit. Uh, you're going to leave the wine spout? I'll put it in here. Oh, jeez. Can you hear us? I can't hear them. That's that's the bay. Oh, that's a big old ant. I think we need to face it the other way. Maybe. I don't know, it's kind of working. Uh, the logs. Gross. But... <laughs> hey everybody, so that was the... Oh, I left the books in the car. I got three books. You want me to go get them? No, it's okay. I got the cat who visited for Christmas? What's it about? The cat who saved Christmas. Oh. So it's probably the sequel to that book, The Cat Who Saved Books, but also probably not. Um, I've heard of it before. I don't think it is a Japanese translation. Um, so probably nothing to do with the other book, but it looks cute and Christmassy, and I need more Christmas books. Because um, this year, I'm gonna read Christmas books around Christmas time. I've never done that before. Um, and I'm gonna keep doing this until okay, you get angry. We're running out of battery, so what did you think of the little libraries? I really like the one that was a little model of the house. Yeah, I think if we ever share a house, we should get a little library and make it look like the house. Mm -hmm. Wonder if that'll ever happen. I don't know. Um, and then the other books I got was the only house that's purple. And if I think about it, I will put a, a picture of it on the screen, maybe. Um, that is about this girl named Iris. And it seems like it's got a lot of purple imagery in there. And then I got the one that was the Charlotte, Charlotte Holmes book. That was like the Sherlock Holmes book, like parody. I love Sherlock Holmes. Um, I like the little libraries. They were different this time. Um, there were a lot more that we didn't go see, and there's a lot more in Nina that we didn't go see. So if you want to see another Little Libraries book, let us know. Little Libraries vlog where we donate books. Um, because I still have a bunch of books that I could donate, and then he also gets them because of his job. Uh, Anyway, like, subscribe. Did you see any books that we missed that we should have grabbed? Um, there were a lot of good ones in there. Some that I had already read, though. Uh, otherwise, I would have grabbed them. And hopefully you can hear us. And the water is calming and relaxing and not annoying. My favorite about, part about beaches here, this is not sand. It's, You're not even on the screen. You know, it's blowing in front of the screen. There. Okay. Try not to get you covered in them. I appreciate it. It's okay. seashells. <laughs> yep. Bye. All right. Bye. Good night, sweet James. Oh no. <laughs>